was like intercepting Dave. <laughs> <laughs> it was great. <laughs> it felt good. Um, not not to take anything away from Kate, but it just felt good, you know, playing DB now, um, seeing that in a short amount of time I've been playing, I'm making strides in that area. Um, but no, I felt it, it was good, you know. Kay's a competitor, I'm a competitor. Um, I know how he is, so I kind of, after practice this night, I got under his skin a little bit, joking around with him, but, you know, that's that's what it is. How did the uh, how did the move come about? Um, Coach Harbaugh called me, asked me if I would, you know, he brought up the idea of potentially playing some defense. I said, Coach, I'll do whatever, I'll do whatever for this team. You can put me at center, I'll play center if you need me to, so yeah, that's how it went. Mozzie said you had a defensive personality on offense. Does your personality change at all? Like, how do you approach the game change at all? Um, no, I think that mentality is just, you know, just being physical. Um, you know, when I was a receiver, one thing that I really cared about was blocking. Um, and then, so now I'm on the opposite side of that. So the way I carry myself is just, I know when I was at receiver, how I would approach blocking people. So now when I have the opportunity to, you know, disrupt blocks and that type of stuff, just continue being physical and just playing with that, that tough attitude. Do you think the experience blocking is going to help you counter it? For sure. Yeah. Definitely. From what Jim said the other day, he said you'd be a two-way player, three-way player. So you haven't closed the door on playing offense as well. Right? No, I was uh, bouncing back and forth today, taking both reps, we're taking reps on both sides. Do you want to be able to, you want to play both ways? Definitely. I think, you know, me and Coach Harbaugh, well, Coach Harbaugh's been saying the more tools you have in your box, the more valuable you become. So I definitely like that. Um, that's one thing I can tell myself every day about playing both ways. Do you think it's easier going from offense to defense or defense to offense? Uh, offense to defense, definitely. Um, because offense, I feel like you have, so once you learn the, the whole offensive concept, going to defense, you understand, okay, when they line up in these tight formations when they line up in the spreader, you know, down a distance, you just know what to expect from that, from that standpoint. How quickly have you built relationships with the defensive coaches now? Um, I mean, before even coming to defense, I had relationships with the defensive coaches. Um, <clears throat> last year when Coach McDonald was here, I would always tell him, hey, Coach, whenever you need me, let me know. Uh, same thing with Coach Clink, I would always be joking around with him about that. And now I have the opportunity to be in their offices one-on-one, -on -one, you know, meeting time and being in the defensive meetings and stuff. So uh, I say we have we have good relationships. You, you played both ways in high school. Did the prospect of playing defense here come up when you were first recruited, when you were first coming in here? Oh, yeah, so when Coach Brown recruited me, he actually recruited me to play defense. Okay. Um, when I got here, they asked me if I wanted to play offensive defense, and I went with offense. Why did you want to play offense? Uh, I just told him, I was like, I like having the ball in my hands. I like making plays. Um, I've always been like a get the ball, go make the play, go do what you do type of person. So I, that's why I just chose offense. Well, you had the ball in your hands on the interception. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Can you describe right. that play for us, the high, how you picked off Cade? Uh, yeah, so we, I was lined up on AJ. Um, and then out route. And then I just kind of sat on his hip and just waited for Cade to make a decision. And I saw he looked at AJ, and I was like, all right, the ball's probably coming this way. And it came, and I just picked it off, jumped on, or jumped the route, took it back. Did a lot of the team have a, have some some good time reactions to, to the play? Oh, yeah, of course. Oh, the, the whole defense, we all ran down there in that zone, uh, took our yeah. defensive turnover picture. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Kay told, told us that he kind of sees himself as you know, Big Ten championship starter. How do you think he's approaching this year, you know, the, um, the dynamic at quarterback, I guess, with also Jay? Um, definitely just being the competitor he is, going out there every day competing, knowing that he has no room for complacency. Um, he's working to keep that starting uh, keep that starting spot. Um, and then, you know, he's doing what he has to do to be a leader for this team. And, you know, we all, us as leaders know that we have to get back to where we were and further. So we just continue keeping that chip on our shoulder. Based on his mentality, do you think he's uniquely suited to handle this kind of situation? Um, just the way he walks in the building, uh, his demeanor, and just the way he talks at practice, um, talks to guys individually, and just being the person he is. How much has the playing the last couple of years at receiver kind of helped you in the transition back to uh, the secondary? Um, just being able to tell, you know, what type of technique receivers are in, whether, you know, so if I'm depressed, seeing what type of releases they want to take, um, 
understanding their splits, um, just knowing if I was that receiver, what I would want to do with that suppressed technique or a uh, zone technique. Is the 